Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about how modern media is an income reducing program for you. W. Clement Stone had a quote that was something to the effect of television is an income reducing device. Now back in his time, that was the main form of media besides newspapers and magazines and books that they had then. And television was the most obvious waste of time that there was at that time. But nowadays, you can apply that same wisdom to our modern setting, which is social media, videos, video games, television, movies, music, all these other things, these other forms of media, some tiny bits of newspaper and magazines and books. But there's so much more available today. But the same principle applies that these are income reducing devices, income reducing programs. Think of the time that is spent. If you're playing a video game, now I know a lot of the video game platforms will tell you how long you spent playing that game. So you may have spent 20 hours, 30 hours, 100 hours. I've heard video gamers telling me, well, I played 100 hours of this game. It was so much fun. 100 hours of a game. Think of that. That's two and a half weeks of full time work that you could have been using to produce. You could have produced a game. Not obviously at the level of a AAA title, of course, but you could have been producing something of value instead of just consuming. And it's easy for me to just say, oh, don't watch the news and the media and waste your time on all these things. But I want to make sure that you understand to redirect the time to something useful. And I think because many people don't have that outlet of something useful that they're putting their time toward, they're just defaulting to what the world teaches, what they were taught as kids, probably, because so many people raise their children, they give them a tablet or a phone or a video game system to babysit them, basically. And as a kid, I had the same thing. But the problem with that is, there's a host, there's a whole host of problems, obviously, but let's just take it for you as an adult. It has trained you to go to entertainment for your life. So when you're done doing the things you're supposed to do, you get entertained. And there's very little to no productive activity going on, except with work, if you go to work or your business or whatever it may be. And that's why so many people aren't feel, feeling that they're fulfilled in life. They have families, they have children, and yet they're miserable. But it's because they don't have that outlet. Their, their time is spent on fruitless endeavors, instead of being invested into productive endeavors, things that make products and services and things that are beneficial to the world that provide value to the world. And I think one of the issues is people think that it has to be something big and major curing cancer, something like that. Otherwise, it's not worth doing. But that's just not true. Even if you're producing something of little value, so let's say you're painting a painting. And most people aren't gonna like it. That's still thousands of times more valuable than just sitting down and binge watching a television series or playing five hours of a video game. This should be very obvious, readily apparent, but it's not because people have just been taught and they're in this rut and they don't even, it's not even a thought in their mind that, wait, I could be doing something productive, whatever that may be. Obviously painting is not for everybody writing poetry, writing a book, creating a course, going and teaching someone who doesn't know how to read, helping with literacy, whatever it may be, volunteering somewhere, volunteering at an animal shelter, whatever it may be. There is something productive you can be doing with your time that's going to give you way more enjoyment and blessing and fulfillment than all these time-wasting activities that not only waste your time, they reduce your income. Now, if you, let's say, for example, you're a video game player. I want you to really just get a piece of paper or open a note-taking app in, on your phone or tablet or whatever it may be and just calculate how much time you spent on video games, for example, or movies. Calculate that time and then really ponder what could I put this time toward that would be productive, that would be useful to the world. I'm not talking about just going and working more hours every day. 
although you could do that, maybe you should do that. But there are creative endeavors you could be doing that would give you far more benefit and increase your income. Now, maybe that painting you do, as an example, isn't going to sell. No one's going to buy it. It's not going to make you any money. It costs you money from the paint and the canvas and everything. But doing that compared to taking in the propaganda and the delusions of the modern media is going to help increase your income. You're going to focus better. You're going to be better equipped to be the successful person you're meant to be. If you go with the same brain rotting media and waste your time on it, you're going to have the same effects everybody else is getting from it, where they're just buying whatever they're told. Oh, the media told me this isn't true, so I can't believe it. No research, no thought, critical thinking out the window, just whatever I'm told must be true. Let me go watch this new superhero movie and turn off my brain. Why would you turn off your brain? Your brain is the tool that your mind uses to operate in this world. Why are you not using it to the most efficient and the best capabilities you can? Mainly doing things that are important, that provide value to the world. Now, maybe you really believe that, well, I don't know what I can do. Is there anything? You may have to really stretch on this to really think and ponder. Is there anything that you've thought about doing? It could be playing the piano. It doesn't matter what it is. But those kind of things work out to your favor. Even if you can't see a monetization plan for that right here and now, I guarantee you it works to better you and it will increase your income. But no, watching movies and television and playing video games and watching videos and all this kind of stuff is not going to increase your income. It's going to decrease it. It's going to waste and cost you valuable time, which is way more important than the money. And in the end, you'll be even worse off. And you're not going to feel better. You may think, oh, I feel better when I binge watch these shows or whatever, or play video games for hours, but you really don't. That's a covering. It turns your brain off. It is something that is just a band-aid covering up the illness. But the solution is to rise up and be like God. Create like he does in your finite form, but be creative, be value producing and be a producer in this world, not just a consumer. My friend, when you do that and you're consistently producing and providing more value to the world, however little it may be, you are going to feel way more fulfilled, way more blessed and way more prosperous. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.